Hey guys, New Path of Exile 2 Druid gameplay trailer. Um, so, 13 uh, minutes. Basically, Sit back. Um, uh, here we have uh, five different characters um, that we're showing um, uh, on, on the demo. Uh, these top four we were showing at ExileCon um, uh, when we had it a few weeks ago. Uh, this last one here is the Druid, um, which is the one that we're mostly oh, that's uh, awesome. showing as the new character Why, look at that. at Gamescom. Uh, and effectively, um, I guess one of the sort of primary things we want to get across uh, to people is the sort of different combinations between skills. Uh, this is like an instruction sheet German that um, is okay. uh, used for, you know, in the consumer booth, so you can sort of know uh, what you're doing. Um, but uh, I'm just going to uh, go to uh, one of the Where are we? Or yet? Here, I doubt it. Um, and, uh, in, in Act 4, and uh, show you what the droid can do. Right. It looks awesome, um, so the game itself. In Act 4, water. Um, you have a boat, and you sort of can go to whatever of the different islands you want. They have uh, all different like, little stories um, that you oh, can uh, nice. find out about. Uh, and in the demo, we've got um, a few oh, of them. Oh, uh, King's March, there you go. That's freaking ones, nice, um, man. But, uh, this is what we'll... We'll, uh, do it's got like a board, it's got like the waypoints, um, so right? So this is the uh, Isle it's of the Kim, boat. It's um, perfect. Which is an area that um, is a sort of like volcano, volcanic island uh, with a whole bunch of goblins on it. Um, and uh, as we get here, we can uh, show it off. Um, so Thank this you. is wow, uh, looks so this being the druid. Um, Look at the ground has uh, like it's a kind of a hybrid spell a hybrid spellcaster. So you've got both spells and you also have um, uh, a, be uh, a bear form. Uh, well, in fact, more the more than more Just than a bear sure, form. Uh, out of different animals. Can hear me so, uh, yelling. The thing people often hear for is uh, you know this kind of stuff. Oh, sorry, just, uh, is uh, this kind of stuff. So if you um, are in bear form, um, uh, you can uh, you know obviously run around. Uh, uh, using spells mm -hmm. um, is uh, also sort of important, and what we want to really do is uh, make it easy for you to go from sort of spell casting mode to bear. The map looks uh, insane. Quickly. I love it. Um, so uh, what I can do here is um, if I slam down, um, uh, when you use uh, your bear form, uh, so when you use and a bear gold, skill, um, you uh, immediately just trans. Uh, 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 sorry, when you use a bear skill, you turn into a bear and you and, and you. Yeah. Do like Diablo 4, uh, yeah. When you use a, uh, a spell, you sort of automatically transform yeah, like Diablo uh, 4, spell. Yeah. So there's no like sort of having to manually transform from one to the other. You just use this, uh, use use the skill, and it does it. Cool looking um, enemies, though. And uh, there's like a sort of slight time penalty. So if you uh, do multiple bear things in a row, um, that's going to be more efficient because when you transform, there's like a little time penalty about 500 milliseconds for the transform. Is that um, a passive? So, uh, you kind of what the hell is that? Is it like, uh, 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 You know, like be it, like use some spells. Do what you're doing there, then turn into a bear. Is that like um, an item? What is that? That's so What's cool. happening there when he transforms is his material form is just becoming a bloody pulp. Uh, something like that. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, you can also um, you, when you dodge roll, uh, you can instantly transform back uh, oh, into, your, into your character. Uh, you can even do it mid transform if you want. So at any time you can just kind of abort what you're doing and uh, and, 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 and do it. And it's really important because in PoE Animation we really want to uh, PoE two that is. We really want to make sure that uh, any time you're feeling threatened, you can always yeah. just dodge roll to get out of there, and uh, uh, you're never interrupted from doing that. And just What's cool. the cooldown timer on your uh, dodges? No, no cooldown, you can yeah. just do it okay, as long nice. as you want. So just we heard that in the last trailer. Down. That's <laughs> great. Yeah, yeah. Hold the button down and roll yeah. roll away. So you're uh, kind of like you're stuck a bit in the animation um, when you're coming actually, out, like you know, slowing down we almost. Made the bear, um, we made it so that um, you, you could dodge roll as a bear. Old. And the animation was so fun that we decided to uh, to keep it, but just in town. So in your in town, you can uh, <laughs> you can uh, do your do your so roll. Like yeah, it was, it was so funny that like we don't have anything. Um, <laughs> uh, we don't we don't have anything to do with this, so we'll just uh, awesome. Throw it in town. Love it. Perfect. So uh, anyway, uh, look at the enemies are right. so cool so, looking, man. Right, uh, let's do a breaking the rocks of apart. That, uh, demo room here. So effectively, what we want to make sure, is, as I said, is that we are, all the skills can be used together. So um, Guy, like, this on slam some here bones, um, like a three uh, causes you to stun enemies. And I've got another skill here that um, does a roar. And if there's any stun enemies nearby, it gives you what's called an exerted attack down here. And exerted attacks mean that when you do another slam, it gets doubled. So you see here, um, I got wow. two slams out of that. Um, so just yeah. to show you that again, it's slam, and then I do the roar, then again. Um, and then any other skill I use, including uh, this like rampage skill here, which does like a lot of slams. I can do like a huge amount of damage. So normally when I cast this, um, I uh, just get you know like slam, 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 slam. Um, but if I stun people, um, get the exert. I'm sorry, wrong button. Uh, if I stun people uh, and get the exert, then when I'm doing it, it's uh, slam, 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 slam. You know, like it's, it's doubling a number. Mm -hmm. um, and that's also really handy because um, I have a few other skills I can send over. Yeah, there's so one of them like here is every called volcano. Spell? So uh, when you make a volcano, volcano. when you slam down it, it I mean, this is straight up out of uh, Diablo 4, there, man. Which is the, quite uh, cool. Um, and of course, uh, if uh, I Diablo use, uh, Rampage, 2, sorry. And then I don't think he has Volcano in Diablo um, 4, does he? Yeah, I don't remember. Slams. And then even more than that, if I do the, uh, the I didn't play combo, him until I got the uh, ultimate, I only played him Black like Devil 4 years ago. Cast a Volcano, and then do a Rampage. Uh, now I'm getting an absolute but I know he added ton of Diablo 2. Which is, annihilates bosses uh, very easily. 
so um, this That's kind cool. of thing, um, yeah, once again, we just really want to make sure that you get the feeling that you can um, okay, it's not, it's not a uh, passive use lots of skills, because in Here We Want it was uh, very common that you just uh, right click, but it just stands and there. that was kind of all of your interaction, you know, mm -hmm. um, in Here We Want to make sure that there's a lot more uh, nice animation, man. Can I just see um, the muscles, the way um, the... I uh... also have some wolves, uh, which I can use, uh, which is okay, useful okay, because this is straight up Diablo hybrid, 2, man. not necessarily um, the most tanky character ever. Um, even though uh, you can turn into a bear, you're still uh, you're not wearing a suit of armor, you know, like a like a warrior would mm -hmm. be. So uh, you do have to be a bit careful, and so that's where the stunning can be really useful to incorporate um, to, as a defensive measure. Um, but also because, um, uh, but also yeah, things like wolves, uh, also things like tornado, which um, I don't have on this version of the character because um, that's every the single spell version. from this Diablo was, 2 uh, is insane. Like the players to play, and uh, normally you get that as a quest reward a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I can't quite show you that, but um, yeah, I've got a tornado skill that will suck monsters in. It's another sort of tactical option on the battlefield. Uh, you can do cool. And then you um, slam them. And uh, yeah, so uh, bring them in, want? slam them. What's happening on your health bar there? It looks like you're building up a shield. Uh, yeah, yeah. What that's ability is triggering? Um, so the, uh, all intelligence characters. Uh, sorry, that is to say, uh, any armor you're wearing. Um, uh, for intelligence characters, has energy shield, um, so that's just a um, just like a sort of standard. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just a thing that you have. Uh, so if I uh, don't take damage for a while, um, then uh, I get uh, you know Halo style uh, energy shield. Mm -hmm. up there. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, that's uh, all anyway. one. Yeah. Um, right. So that's like a few of those interactions. Um, but I guess another thing that is um, really uh, nice to have uh, in Poe, you know, this being a, a game a, a lot about. Um, uh, you know, uh, having interesting interactions, and uh, but also Can some automation. Shield is something your we uh, want to support, uh, just like in POE one. So, um, in the inventory here, I've got a, a gem called Cast War Channeling, there we and go. Uh, I've got my channeling skill, which is this volcano, where if I hold it down, uh, it like bursts out with more projectiles. Mm -hmm. And um, I think what I'd like to be able to do is reduce so the number of skills that I need to be using to kind of pull off the combos that I'm doing, because I want to be able to have my lightning going, I want to have my volcano yeah. going, I want to be rampaging so, around. Yeah. So I want to kind of be able to do that stuff to get Castle Channeling, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I can open the skill screen here and put um, Cast War Channeling uh, in here. And uh, when I do that, um, I can, I'm going to take Lightning Storm and uh, put that in as well. Oh, that's nice. They can all just um, come out so, uh, instantly. Just, uh, Annoying guy here. Um, and now, whenever I'm channeling, um, I'm able to cast Lightning Storm automatically. Okay, so, so it is kind of like a passive to, in the uh, end. Enable that buff uh, here. And uh, now, when I use my um, cool, uh, volcano, um, uh, I get the Lightning Storm happening uh, automatically. Cool. Uh, and this makes a little death zone Double here. Double damage. Really, really so cool. Really the colors are amazing. Once I've got that, I can, like, you know, the orange with the uh, blue bear, purple and, uh, is amazing. Really nice, uh, zone and the lightning also stuns from the looks of it. So um, uh, that's really nice, but um, we actually have another channeling skill. Oops, uh, we actually have another channeling skill on the bear, which is this uh, charge, and it's actually a bit annoying that it triggers the lightning storm as well because I'd rather have my little death zone that I'm trying to do, um, and so that's why it's kind of useful that in Poe, uh, any buff that you have, you can choose which weapon sets uh, that you want yeah, to have that yeah, enabled. Yeah, So that if that I turn this away. off as a bear, I'm going to get my spirit back and oh. disable the buff. Uh, and now, if I change to a human, uh, it, the, the, the buff goes straight back on automatically. Change back to a bear, and it falls back That's off again. Awesome, man. So any buff you can just choose, like you know, do I want this to apply? Do I not want this to apply? Nice. And then the spirit that I'm reserving um, is uh, being consumed or not consumed. Yeah, that, um, that helps for clarity when you're like planning out your abilities or attacks. Yeah. 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 So um, now, uh, there's no to do that. I want to automate more things. I'm going to get cast on melee stun, uh, and I put that in oh, here, boy. and then here I get the summon wolf ability that I have, and I'm going to put cast on melee stun with summon wolf. So that means that if I stun stuff, enough enemies, yeah. um, I'll be able to cast uh, my I got you. automatically. I got um, you, game. Which is really nice, because now I don't have to remember to cast my minions all the time. Yeah, just kind of yeah. Automatically. it's automatic. That's and uh, awesome. when the wolves first come out, they also do a howl, uh, which causes uh, them to do a crit debuff on monsters. Oh. So um, when I, I'm going to stun some guys, uh, there wasn't quite enough debuffs charge, upon so debuffs. Uh, 76 up the top there. There we go. So now I've got a wolf cast automatically. <laughs> and now as I'm just going through, um, I, you know, I'm just I'm just getting my wolves summoned uh, without having to do anything. Uh, there should be another one there. Um, and then. It's especially good to use it on um, cast while stunning because um, uh, that means I'm about to. I can use my exert. Uh, sorry, I put that. I put that on the wrong key bind. Uh, I think some um, rampage. Where's uh, the war cry? There it is. Sorry, I just wrong. Um, where, 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 where? Okay, right. So I can do my stunning. Um, I get an extra wolf. Um, the shout uh, and then stun which again. Which I didn't get that time. No, I did. I just didn't notice. Okay, right. So I'll do that again. Get my stun. Uh, get a wolf, uh, and now that I've got that, uh, I can do my um, uh, exerted attack, you know, with the um, uh, with the roar, mm -hmm. which I once again failed to do the timing right because I'm 
<laughs> in a bit of a funny setting here. Uh, do the roar, and then I can get the rampage. And the thing is, while I'm, while I'm doing that, um, all the monsters nearby are getting uh, that crit debuff on them. Um, so right. it's kind of a way to get like more uh, for less, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, yeah, so that's a, like a quick introduction to some uh, druid skills here. To get them um, out. But I can also go Same and uh, let me just Me find the boss for this area, and we'll see if we can utilize uh, all of those all of those elements. I'll just get some rage, uh, which I need to be able yeah, to do blood. my rampage a little bit further, um, and we'll rampage over to where the boss is, uh, and uh, we'll do a boss fight here, um, and so you can see uh, what's going on. Uh, where is the boss? The problem with random levels is you never know quite where the boss will be. It's okay. <laughs> uh, right, there it is. So um, this here is uh, an arena that the goblins have made to sort of fight their beasts against each other. <laughs> um, and uh, here we have uh, the blind beast, um, which uh, is one of their, an albino version, uh, who they've blinded. Um, so here I want to get the... Um, uh, you can see, like, utilizing all these different um, attacks here. Um, You're melting. Yeah, yeah, I can actually melt the boss, exactly. Um, because I'm getting that, that, um, it, the Volcano is actually even better. Again, we'll have to run away from that, though. Um, uh, the, it's even better against uh, large monsters because um, the, the projectiles they're, yeah. hit. Because the, the, the area larger, that the boss yeah. takes up is larger, more of the projectiles of the Volcano are going to hit um, the boss. Um, so that means that it's actually very advantageous. Oh, oh, no, get away from that, get away from that. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's very advantageous to, um, uh, to be able to um, uh, use Volcano against a, against a boss. A lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Okay. All right, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, that's what, Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, Holy crap, right. dude. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> swearing. Right, I, need to, I need to stun him. Okay, there we go. I've got the stun, get the exert, get the rampage. That's what I need to do. He's in the wrong place, though. Okay, no, he's all right. He's moving over. into it. He's oh, moving into it. Oh, there nice. we go, there we go, there we go. All right, so there we go. Um, all right. Oh wait, now he's doing that. So what I want to do? I appreciate it doing it live do though. My, uh, that, that's very cool. Let's do my, uh, my little channel. And then ideally, I can pull him back. In. You can see the guys oh, actually playing the game and getting wrecked. Yeah, probably just slam, 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 slam. Oh yeah. Mouse up gold. All right, there we go. So um, yeah, that's the uh, that's, that's right. the druid. That's awesome. Yeah. Can Can you show me a little bit more about the loot? Um, and, uh, there's probably not like a huge amount to talk about there at the moment. I mean, it's very similar to Path of Exile One in that regard. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of changes under the hood. Um, but uh, I guess one thing that we do want to make sure of is that in um, in uh, PoE One uh, we had a problem with like way too many white items on the ground, this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. In PoE Two, we really want to make, improve the loot. Um, Part, there's a few different ways we're addressing that. One of them is gold, uh, which we added. Uh, yep. Another one, though, is that um, we uh, the effect of uh, um, what's it called uh, 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 item rarity um, uh, does a lot more uh, now. So that what that means is that bosses are much likely to get drop better items rather than more items, uh, which is uh, a, a better thing for the player. Uh, it means you don't have as much spam uh, everywhere. So um, yeah. Again, okay, we're using, using the, the filter. Um, wow, plus I have to all attributes. Uh, an attribute gaining uh, quest oh. item, so I can use that. And get but some uh, you know, we're all using filters, these, uh, so you know. Um, and then, if you like, I can go to a different character class and show you um, some other stuff there. If I you would like. love that. Let's sure, try sure. That. All right, that'll be for next time. Yep. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Looks great. And again, I appreciate the fact they're doing it live. You know, it's not like some. Uh, pre-rendered uh, footage of like something they 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 played behind the scenes you know the druid itself I, don't, I feel like it sounds crazy but i feel like is it possible i'm not hating by the way but is it possible that the poe druid looks more like the d2 druid than the d4 druid you know what i'm saying i mean volcano i don't think the d4 druid has okay i could be wrong though. i don't i've never seen his ultimates i remember his ultimates but uh, holy crap man uh they they really took i didn't i didn't think it would be that they, they would take so much stuff from the uh d2 then again it doesn't have the uh, vine creeper so i guess not you know well d, d4 has that um uh, looks there looks awesome looks awesome i'm still gonna stick i think to like slayer if i have a choice i don't know yet if Slayer, is slayer still in the game i have no idea but if it ain't we're gonna have to find something else until then thank you for watching peace